Welcome back to the Chupakins gaming channel. Today we're going to be switching it up. We're going to do something a little bit different. What we're going to be doing is it's going to be called a trooper short. So what basically is going to be, uh, uh, what's basically going to be made of is this uh, scene that I recorded that should be really interesting, adventurous, entertaining, enjoyable, all in one go. So hope you guys enjoy. If you like it, make sure you leave a like. He's gonna be on standby to the other units, right? Alright, let's put on our vest. What do you mean you found some questionable content? All I needed was some more RAM! Listen, there's nothing questionable. Right. Light 146 Yankee has a um, gun drawn right at Vinewood Boulevard at the entrance near the corner of going to be Vinewood Boulevard and Alta Street. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to be waiting here for another additional unit to arrive before we can clear the area together. Yes, yeah, so we're just patrolling a little bit and we saw this. One forty six Yankee to the unit on scene. Are we clear the moving? Stand by one forty six. All right, so we're waiting on him to uh, kill us to go ahead. Okay. Go to the door. Okay, with me. Am I getting left? Okay, entering. Yeah, I'll take right. Sandra, stay police hands. LSPD! Hands. LSPD! You're in here, make yourself known. All 46, thank you, be advised. Uh, stay with me. I'm gonna be checking the other entrance. We're moving upstairs. I'm on standby too, can you? One nine seven. I have one subject at the gunpoint this time. He's on one, right? Uh, What's your location, sir? One nine seven is going to be at the other entrance, just across the lobby. Near ATMs. All right, so near ATM. Is that on the second floor? Negative, it's gonna be on the first floor just across the lobby. On the other side of the teller stations. Okay. Words. Be advised, I have no visual. If you want to go ahead and go for the cuffs, I'm trying to locate. On the other side of the tunnel station. Uh, 146, uh, be advised, it is the double doors on the other side of the first floor lobby. Just outside of the gate, to the back of the teller station. Double doors. Oh, okay, I see. Copy. 
Alright, with me? Don't make any sudden movements right, or you'll sir, get shot. Right. <clears throat> Go ahead, sir. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, on, on console, man, you don't have all these doors, so I'm like, what? There's another side, but yeah. Okay, um, let's get him out into the car real quick, and we'll come back in for the rest of the search. All right. I'll get him. I'll go ahead and uh, keep this ground until we get a clear move in. Just sit tight right there. All right, so we're going to wait right here until he gets back. We're going to clear the all rest right. of the building. Okay, back with you. Reach in three, okay. two, yep. one. Uh, Speedy, have you been upstairs at all yet? Negative. Okay. Uh, make our way across the lobby. We'll take the back stairwell. Uh, across the lobby to the right. I got teller stations. Watch the watch the balconies. Watching the balcony. <clears throat> LSPD, if there's anyone else in here, make yourselves known. LSPD! Yeah, I'm setting up. Okay, on door. Go in. LSPD! If there's anyone else in here, make yourself known. Go oh, secure. Trying to set up. <clears throat> They're on your mark. LSPD! Left clear. We need to see some hands. LSPD, if there's anyone in the else in here, make yourselves known. Anyways, you want to keep the door at gunpoint, I'll go ahead and check the desk as we move forward. <clears throat> yep. Desk clear. Desk clear. Standing up. Over. Right looks clear. See if I'm on a breach. 3, 2, 1. Make yourself yep. known. LSPD! I'll keep hallway locked down if you want to check okay, the door. Okay, checking right. LSPD! Check the bones right, moves in. <clears throat> there. Yep, nope. next. Watch right. LSPD! Make yourself known! Clear. Okay. Corner. I have door secure. I'm gonna go ahead and set up. Corner, right corner's clear. We'll clear the breach. Left Three. corner clear. Two, one. Police, hands up. Okay. Please stay away, man. Left towards vault clear. Do we want to kill vault first or desk? Uh, take desk first. Okay. Uh, Covering vault, vault stairwell. Police, we need to see LSB. some hands. First desk clear. Nine seconds. Second desk clear, moving to clear bomb. Clear. Okay, hold on, let me let's check the doors before we proceed. Yeah. Okay, yeah, these doors are all sealed. Good. But we'll have to get in contact with the bank manager if we want to check those. If further, they've been sealed, most likely no one's there. in there. Yeah. Okay, then moves. building secure. Okay. 146 Yankee, be advised, seen his code for. <clears throat> Alright, let's go talk to the guy. Um, he had a badge on him, and he uh -huh. says he's an officer, so I just I just want to run all that and make sure everything's okay. All right. Probably just a big misunderstanding here. Well, I did see him at the 7-Eleven when I went there. He was the same guy working the desk, so I think he just to make sure funds. Uh, um. <clears throat> okay. That was crazy, though. Stor store my rifle real quick, and we'll speak with him. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. Let me put him in my vehicle. <laughs> yeah, Alright, let's put him in.
Okay, um... Mr. Pinecone? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, go ahead and hop out. There we go. <clears throat> Just uh, double check this real quick here. here. Uh, can I get a snail check on a Andrew Pinecone uh, 465? Oh, so did you already search him by any chance? Yeah, he's been searched. Have you read him his rights here? Um, no, it's not really necessary, it's just, um, just want to confirm. Oh, okay. Not, I thought we were going to clash. No. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well, have you been searched, sir? Uh, uh, officer, am I clear the boom back in the vehicle? Yeah, um, actually... Alright, um... Yeah, let's, let's get him out of cuffs here, he's, you're an officer. Okay. Alright, um, here, let's step out of the road. Not exactly sure okay, if he's a um, or not, so I think he might have So obviously we received a call for, uh, an alarm for, you know, some little robbery. So, um, we had to come in and make sure that everything was okay. Um, so yeah, uh, can you tell me what happened? Alright, so basically I head in uh, to try and access at least one of my credit cards. I ended up trying all of them, which is probably what set off the alarm, and I couldn't get any of the pins right because I believe my bitch ex-wife uh, changed up the pins on me. Okay. Kinda uh, confused as to why their systems would go off if someone was trying cards at the ATM, but um, did you like try to? Hit him or anything, or no, bump him? I, I just, I mean, I mean, I might have an anger. I don't really remember. I just remember punching in a bunch of numbers. Oh, what is he saying? I'm gonna go trying to get at least one of the cards to work out See if anger, they've been tampered with. Kind of, you know, pissed at my ex-wife for changing the pin number. Alright, let's go check these uh, ATMs. He said he didn't um, tamper with them, so we're gonna make sure. Cause the alarm doesn't just go off for no fucking reason, you know. X ATM. So we're gonna check them here, wait for response. ATM has a flashing red light and says locked, but it is otherwise in Is it normal? I'll open a... Uh, is it normal? Uh, does the... does the red... Light... And does the... Um... And... The red light on that one ATM. All the others. Others. There. The red light. Right on the ATM that's all. That sounds kind of confusing. I hope he gets it.
Makes sense, though, because if it says it's locked, you know, like, is that the normal function, you know? Like, I don't know if that's... Because, you know, sometimes if they, like, you fuck with it, like, it turns on some kind of alarm. I'm just... You know, ATMs don't fuck up, you know? They could, but you have to do something for it to, like, do a silent alarm. Other machines have red lights, but are not turned on. Other ATMs are fully working. Okay. Um. X. Um, X. The one ATM. Before any. To look. For any damages. Oh, you know what? Fix ATM to look for any damages. One four six eight. Yeah, the unit. Four nine seven. Four nine seven. Do you want me to check the cameras? See what happened exactly. I'm right there. Too. Um. Did you locate any sort of damage on any of the ATMs? It seems to be so. What I'm looking, it seems to be a red. Um. Seems to be like a red security light that just popped up. It's not on other ATMs. Um, I'm also looking for damage. I see no physical damage to the ATM. So it could have been a malfunction in the software, but the only way to confirm that would be to look at the f the the camera systems. So at this point, I'm not sure if he um, if he messed with the software or uh, tampered with the software, but not the physical ATM, or if he just um, overs on the bank side and it was a malfunction. Uh, a firm. Um, my guess is that this is a misunderstanding. We can check the footage for formality's sake, but we don't really have much else beyond that. Copy. I'm gonna go and look at the film just in case. Um, go ahead and bear with me, and then I'll be out there to inform you what's up. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna check the film. Um. All right, so I'm gonna have to deal with you quite too far. Me as Clark. To see, to see film, and shows badge. Okay, Clark shows me the location to view the cameras. Yeah. Right. For that position, where the I'm gonna put the malfunctioning ATM. Is located. What do I see? I see in the what do I um see on the cameras? Uh, me asks Clark to see film and shows badge. Clark shows me the location of you the the cameras. Oh my gosh, dude! I have to write that all again. Me. Ask Clark to see cameras, cameras, and shows badge. Me looks, um, I'm directed to the location to see the cameras and looks at the position. Of the tempered, um, uh, tempered ATM. What do I see? All right, so we're gonna look at that. What do I see? So I'm gonna see if there's any kind of damage or physical damage. It's probably on. Most likely, it's on the on the bank side because there's no damage. It was probably a misunderstanding. Up. Oh. Do that. <laughs> what did he pull that out his ass? <laughs> like, all right, um, clipboard. All right, so we're gonna wait till we get that, then we're gonna go on and confirm with the other officer. Because you know, the, it's just it's really hard to believe because he's watching the same description as the guy at 7 Eleven. He could have easily gone off duty, came over here, tampered with the ATM, pull off the fake badge scenario, and get away with it cleaning. 
but uh, I want to make sure and everything secure. So we're going to check the cameras, look for any damages. We saw no damages, nothing whatsoever. So from there, we're going to go outside once we get our response. We're going to be. kind of response here and also it's kind of weird for him to do a bank kind of heist one person you know he didn't even have any equipment on him so I'm pretty sure it's gonna come back positive so I'm gonna head out oops that's what they have done to <laughs> oh my gosh all right so we're gonna head out um, uh, Einkorn walks in and inserts ATM card and tries to enter the pin several times. Then switches to a different debit card. Different debit card tries again and again with no progress. But the fifth card, the red light on the machine, thinks him. Pin card. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this looks like it's a software issue. No uh, attempt to damage the machine or anything to um, rig it, so move in. All good, I'm assuming. All right, yeah. So what I saw is um, on the cameras it showed him that uh, he tries to insert multiple debit cards, and uh, I guess the software picks up. He's trying to insert a bunch of different debit cards, and it uh, picks up some kind of um, the software malfunctions or it's some kind of security feature on the ATM. But no, it's an, there's no intent to vandalize or attempt with the ATM machine. So other than that, he's clear to go. I see no problems here. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, no, All right, I just um, have a lot of cards for FDIC because I only get 250,000 and with what I want in the force, which was quite a bit since she tried to shoot me. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Oh. I kind of have to use for multiple. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Well, um, uh, what I recommend is um, going in and speaking with the bank. I'd maybe get all of your accounts closed and changed and, and get some new ones going or something just because, you know, if she is getting into them. That's uh, obviously a problem. But, yeah, yeah I'll um, do that online. Yeah, um, so sorry for the misunderstanding. I mean, you have to understand. You know, we have to respond. So appreciate you being so cooperative. Obviously, as a 20-year vet, you would be. But no, no, no. I feel um, you guys. I feel you guys. No, I, oh, you did exchange all bunch of stories. Here. Sorry to have to take you guys off your patrol and make you guys come down here and respond to this. Oh no, you're fine. Um, no problem. That's yeah, so problem. you're pretty good this time. Um, yeah, if right, you have further here. business with the bank, uh, you can take care of that now, so. Hey, you have a good right. one. Alright, thank you. Just take care of it on the computer. Thanks, guys, for coming out here. Uh, have a safe one, and uh, oh. enjoy you your as well, patrol. thank you. Officer, thanks for um, okay. coming out here. I was, I thought I was going to be a solo rider here, but uh, good thing we went through <laughs> one of time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, well, I appreciate it. You have a good night, then. Alright, you too. Thank you. Alright, so this is probably going to be a mini episode. It's probably going to be called Mini Episode with Trooper. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but I'm going to do that. Alright, so we're going to be back on station. Um, it's probably going to be called Mini Episode with Trooper, with Kins, or Mini Episode with Kins. I don't know. We'll make up something name and it'll be in the title, but uh, yeah. So I appreciate all you guys tuning in. This is going to be a mini episode with Trooper Kins. Um, make sure you like and subscribe and if you want to see more of these mini episodes um, I need to see at least 10 likes on this one so 10 likes and I'll go ahead and continue to do this if there's a small scene and I'm not recording I'll go ahead and do a small recording I'll do, that's my way. I'll do a small recording and then or something really interesting like this and I'll go ahead and post it if you guys want to see more of this I need 10 likes and then we'll see from there that's the goal well night that's Trooper Kids clocking out with this episode have a good night folks see you guys in the next mini episode